Hello guys, welcome to Max Math Games. The question of the day is what is the number of zeros at the end of 100 factorial raised to the power 100 factorial? Pause the video if you want to give this question a try and then resume the video when you want to check out the solution. Now, first of all, let us see a basic concept of a factorial. So, n factorial is given by 1 into 2 into so on up to the quantity n. 10 factorial will be given by 1 into 2 into so on up to the quantity 10 and 10 factorial is actually equals to 3, 6, 2, 8, 8, 0, 0. So we can say that there are two zeros at the end of 10 factorial. Now the prime factorization of 10 factorial contains 2, 3, 5 and 7 and 10 factorial is a combination of some powers of 2 let us suppose 2 raised to power alpha 3 raised to power beta 5 raised to the power gamma and 7 raised to the power delta now what we do is we observe that a 0 is made up of some combination of 2 and 5 so whatever is going to be the limiting number out of alpha or gamma that will be the number of zeros and in any factorial alpha is always going to be greater than gamma so we only need to check what is the value of gamma in any factorial to calculate the number of zeros at the end and the method of doing so that is if i need to calculate the highest power of 5 which will divide 100 factorial then the way of doing this is we write 100 divided by 5 now this quantity is equals to 20 we again divide this by 5 we get 4 we again divide this by 5 we get 0 0.8 we again divide this by 5 we get 0 0.16 and so onwards now these quantities do not contain any integer part and we take only the integral part and the answer will be equals to 24 and therefore 100 factorial contains 24 zeros at the end now we don't even need to calculate the highest power of 2 that will divide 100 factorial because that is obviously going to be more than 24 so now that we know that 100 factorial contains 24 zeros now the problem is what do we do with the 100 factorial in the power the most common answer that i get whenever i discuss this question in my class is 24 raised to the power 24 okay because they say that there are 24 zeros over here 24 zeros over here and hence the answer is going to be 24 tell me in the comments if you have gotten this answer or if you have gotten any other answer then also let me know in the comments okay but this is not the correct answer now for the answer we observe that if 10 factorial contains two zeros and if I multiply 10 factorial by another 10 factorial, then this will be 3628800 multiplied by 3628800 and hence this will be some quantity followed by 4 zeros. Okay. So what happens is if I have raised the power of 10 factorial by 2, then the number of zeros is multiplied by 2 that instead of two zeros now we have four zeros and hence if i have 10 factorial raised to the power n where n is an integer then the number of zeros will be 2 because 10 factorial contains two zeros multiplied by the power that is 2 into n number of zeros and hence 100 factorial raised to the power n will contain 24 into n number of zeros so do not get confused by this power of 100 factorial and the answer for this question is going to be 24 into the power that is 24 into 100 factorial let me know in the comments if you have gotten the correct answer i hope you have understood everything taught in this video thank you